In Alabama, a uh, a judge has allowed a man to sue a clinic, abortion clinic, on behalf of the aborted fetus. So lawsuits and uh, abortion, mm. but no vaccines this time. Okay. So an Alabama judge has recognized oh. the legal rights of an... This is from the Washington Post, by the way. An Alabama judge has recognized the legal rights of an aborted fetus allowing a man whose girlfriend ended her pregnancy at six weeks to sue the manufacturer of the pill she used and the clinic that gave it to her. The decree issued by Madison County Probate Judge Frank Berger explicitly states, quote, baby Roe, end quote, is a person and allows plaintiff Ryan Majors to name the fetus as a co-plaintiff in the suit for, quote, wrongful death, end quote. Majors said in court filings that, when his then-girlfriend discovered she was pregnant in early 2017, he, quote, repeatedly pleaded, end quote, with her to carry the pregnancy to term and give birth, but she wanted to have an abortion. Abortion rights groups expressed alarm, saying the Alabama judge's decision uh, last month sets a dangerous precedent, which it does. Luckily, it's not yeah. the Supreme Court yet, at least. Mm. Um so it's a dangerous precedent at a time when the idea of, quote, fetal rights, which is a phrase that I hadn't quite heard yet, but Ugh. is still horrifying, uh, which recognizes embryos and fetuses as separate from the woman who carry them, is gaining currency in state legislatures, courts, uh, and law enforcement agencies. Um, and then uh, the there's a citation to... a somewhat related New Jersey case about the... Well, here. In one New Jersey case, a mother lost custody of her child when she had a vaginal birth instead of the C-section her doctors insisted was necessary. In others, pregnant women who drank or took drugs, both illegal both illegal and prescribed, and then had miscarriages, were accused of child abuse. Um, and dozens mm-hmm. of states have passed... F- uh, f- uh, fetal homicide laws that treat the unborn as a separate entity from the woman carrying them. Fetal homicide laws. Yep. Uh, so that means you, if if someone needs your blood type, you can be arrested by the police and put in a hospital and forced to give blood, forced to you know surrender a kidney to someone who might need it. Is that mm, is that their I, principle I mean, here? Uh, is that their elimination of bodily autonomy? Uh, they, I. I think they're trying for it. I mean, it, they're they're doing an end run by saying like, "Oh no, no, it's not, it's not her body." But I mean, the well, no, I guess, I guess that doesn't answer the question of another person is using your body and you're not consenting to it. I think it, what it right. really comes down to is so they're defining children as parasites. The rights okay. of the you know the organism inside you do not supersede your own. Yeah, even if um, you know, right. so if it's, kind of fucking crazy that they're trying to flip mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, to be clear, you can recognize, uh, if for the sake of discussion, I, you know, Tracy Harris did this on uh, Atheist Experience at one point. Mm-hmm. I think she said at conception, but you can say, oh, it's a human at name your favorite week or month or day or whatever. The issue is still, uh, yeah. that's your body and you don't consent. So, I mean, if they're going to recognize this as a separate person, and the mother doesn't consent, do you then have to charge the fetus with rape? Because it's a a person who is inserted into another person's body against their will. Like, at a certain point, oh, you God. just have to point out how fucking ridiculous this is. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I, yeah. I, and if yeah. you... If you if, yes, it yeah. sounds... Sounds more like it. And if they arrest quite sound. If they yeah. arrest the, the woman uh, and put her in jail, they're unlawfully imprisoning the child within her. The that's true. fetus within her. Yeah. I mean How does that work? I don't know. I'm sure that I'm sure that uh the courts in the United States of Jesus will figure it out in time. Mm-hmm. Um Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean Again, I think the rights of the mother supersede yeah. the rights of whatever stage the organism, fetus, mm-hmm. zygote, gamete, take your pick, inside her is, you know. Yeah, those. She, her rights come first. Her rights supersede. Yeah. Yes. The, the, yeah. the rights and of that organism. I, I would go I further. I don't care what stage it's at. Yeah. I would go further and say, even if you balance the rights equally, 
people are still allowed to decide not to let their body be used by another person. Yeah. Of whatever, what any, whatever age. Um, yeah. Like a. That's right. I mean, yeah. If you just <laughs> stop calling it abortion, just call it eviction. <laughs> <laughs> Republicans yeah. will love that. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. You'd get a you. Uh, you would get an eviction notice, and then you would bring it to the the Planned Parenthood clinic. Um, here, I've got a legally signed thing. You know. That's right. Uh, You're out in five days. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Back it up. <laughs> it's um. It's worth pointing <laughs> out that. This is it horrible. Up. Pack it up. Oh my god. Um, the, that that came at me in waves. Yes. <laughs> These are amusing, of course. It's it's a it's, deadly serious it's, issue. It's, it's a laugh or cry situation. Yeah, and uh, I'm an ugly crier, so I'm gonna laugh on the air. Um, so where were we? That's so so the oh uh, what? I forget where we even were. Oh, we're talking about um the uh, in wait yours was in Kentucky, mine is in Alabama. Mm. All right, I I don't know how I confuse those two states in terms of recognizing bodily autonomy. Um, no idea. No idea. Maybe it's that they're both wrong. Um, so one of the things that's worth pointing out is that this idea is, it, as this article says, gaining currency in uh, legislatures, law enforcement agencies, and courts. And that's not oh, an accident. God. Um, the uh, Republican Party of the United States has been deliberately trying to transform the judiciary for more than a decade now. And... If you're questioning how I would come to that conclusion, you can read the transcripts of what the now uh, majority leader in the Senate, Mitch McConnell, said on the floor, which was, uh, I'm going to wreck shit until the majority gets out of power, and then we're going to transform the judiciary. And that's what he said his goal was, and he's accomplishing both. Yeah, they've been gaining a lot of ground the past. They've been gaining a lot of ground. So you, li- if you live in the United States, uh, particularly if you uh, are thinking of being active in um, politics, or you just want to know what's going on, I would say look into that because in some places in the United States, as we said, you elect judges, and in some places they're appointed, and it's it's important to know what's going on where you are. Yeah, and I, I know we said this last time, mm-hmm. but you know, pay attention to your state politics, especially because yeah. it's very easy for that yeah. to kind of go under the radar. Yeah. Theocracy and is on the march. Yeah, it's where make, people aren't looking. Yeah, make it. sure you're registered to vote. Yeah, You know how we have a, na- a federal Congress that isn't doing anything? You have state legislatures that are doing everything. Just pay attention to what's going on. Um, and what I will say is people always argue like, oh, why should I vote? My vote doesn't count. There's millions of people that vote. There are fewer people in your state than there are in the nation. So if you really think that your vote counts more when there's fewer people, which mathematically, sure, uh, then pay attention because voter turnout, I mean, yeah, whatever. Just go go vote and go be informed. There was a story that I almost did about a, I can't remember his name. He's a far-right uh, commentator mm. but he he said literally i want as few people voting as possible like well yeah republicans do really well when yeah, there's low the? voter turnout yeah uh, you you you're not a big fan of democracy i don't I want it. democracy yeah. right yeah. what the yeah there's a lot of um vo- i mean this, this is a separate topic than what i brought up but yeah there's a lot of issues with uh um Voter suppression and oh yeah, uh, changing voter registration laws. I can't remember which uh, midwestern state it was that, um, for a while, had just required a mailing address and then switched to needing a, a home address, which many um, Native Americans don't have because that's not the way they live. Um, and then they were uh, disenfranchised uh, immediately before the last election, before the midterm election, which is um, terrible. Yeah, just, look, lots of stuff is going on. It may make you sad, uh, but it's important to know what's going on. Right. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Um, Yeah, in any case, there's that. So, man sues abortion. Kevin? Actually, well, before we move on, I want to talk about uh, what kind of precedent 
do you think this is going to be setting? Well, it's a lower court, so... Yeah. Um, uh, well, as we said before, hmm. a lot of lower court. Well, I mean, it, stuff it, has been kind of moving up the ladder. Yeah, and well, that's I mean, been, that's been something of, of a game plan. Yeah, no, it is. I mean, they, they it's uh, put theocrats on the court. They've put two more on the court than they had. Mm. Um, I mean, people will say, "Ooh, it's split five four. It's split five four. Really, it's split. Um, I think it's still three one one four or four one. Four in regards as far as, to as far as th- like theocrats, um, and then uh, conservative and uh, liberal. Okay, right? like I oppose activist judges regardless of what their philosophy is. Precedent is important, um, but when they're theocrat activists, it definitely gets my goat. They have all my yeah. goats right now. Let's yeah, put a it's, stop to this. it's worrisome. Yeah, it's worrisome. I'm concerned about the future of my country and the world and law. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I I don't have a good ending for that. Yeah, that yeah. Things uh, things might be uh, even worse uh, tomorrow. I don't know. All right. 